All right, that's better. I tried to go live a few minutes ago. I had the camera all worked out prior to taking off. And there's a quirk in YouTube Live when you are filming on the horizontal. You have to enter the title and all that on the vertical axis. And when you turn it, it somehow knows that you've turned it. But if you start it off horizontal and you enter the title, it, does, it wants you to, whatever, technical issues. But for uh, safety, safety always comes first. So I pulled over to start the live, the driving dynamics live in a more safe man, in a more safe manner. But I'm interested. Now, let me turn the camera around. If you can look out there, guys. Number two. Now, you can't get past. Yeah, there you go. Charging stations on the New Jersey Turnpike. At the rest stops. Interesting. You've got your Tesla station and your PSENG EV Go station. B man, what's up, brah? Anyway, I am in the 2020 Nissan Armada, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on the driving performance, the driving dynamics of this beast. I'm heading heading to um, Virginia to pick up my daughter, and you're going to be hearing lots of windshield wiper noise because there's been a constant rain all day. Now, I'm going to apologize to all you folks right now who are going to comment, but in, in my want to be safe, I'm going to look at the road, focus on the road, give you my thoughts on this vehicle. And try not to strain to read all the comments. I'll get in the ones I can. Like B-Man's. Straighten that out a little bit. But let me give you my thoughts on this vehicle. As I drive it. I'm getting on the New Jersey Turnpike. And uh, it's a big V8. I have done no research. So I don't know what sort of numbers it's making. In terms of... Uh, torque and foot pounds uh, or horsepower rather but I'll tell you what it's made to cruise out on the highway this vehicle and I feel like the V8 is delivering good power sufficient power to do everything you need to do and once you're out on the highway it's just a nice cruiser guys now in and around town it's a big, big vehicle, but it doesn't feel big or as big as it is. It's relatively nimble. So getting in and out of parking spaces, no problems. And, uh, you know, making the turns and you don't feel like you're necessarily driving a big tank, but you do feel a little floaty in this vehicle suspension is a little floaty but makes for a just a really nice cruiser out on the highway i've been out for about an hour um it looks like my fuel average is about just under 15 miles per gallon and that should get a little better after a couple more hours because i was doing some city driving but all in all, just a comfortable vehicle. Now, I'll go a little bit over some of the details on the interior. Um, things I like, things I don't like. Uh, first off, the interior to me feels a little old. And I said that because of the trim, the faux wood. The knobs it just looks a little old and then I look down and it's a, there's a CD player so to me the Armada is a nod to the little bit of the older driver that wants a nice family cruiser that wants to be able to tow 
good towing capacity. And you, you, you like a little bit of that antiquated style. A little, you know, someone like me. <laughs> but uh, as far as a cruiser, guys, very nice, comfortable ride. Nice heated seat. Uh, the seat's comfy and plush. Lots of ways to manipulate it. So nice power articulation of the seat. The infotainment system, guys. And this is a Nissan problem for many, many years. And it, as well as the Infinity product, the, the infotainment knobs. I mean, the infotainment control is not intuitive, guys. It's like, how you how do I find, how do, how do I change a station on the radio? How do I get into the GPS? And it, you really need to learn how to do certain things, not intuitive, not, I think a vehicle, a car, there should be things that are just intuitive because you don't have time while you're out on the road to be focused on how do I get into that next menu to change the channel on the radio. And I've had this problem with Nissan and Infinity. I, I was hoping they would change the supplier of their, you know, their infotainment technology. On the plus side, it's very comfortable vehicle, like I said before, roomy in every position, lots of room in the in the cargo area, in the trunk, um, and flexible. The third row, to get into the third row, there's an easy adjustment of the second row. You flip the, the, the lever on the second row uh, shoulder rest or at the top of the seat here, and it takes the second row seat out of play, and you can, even an old man like me, I can pop in the back. It's just, a, it's a, a very comfortable vehicle for seven passengers. And I feel nice and secure out here in all this bad weather. I'm running auto, four-wheel drive or auto, so... I'm assuming that road conditions, as they vary, will engage the four-wheel drive. But if I wanted to select four-wheel high or low, I, I have that ability. There's a snow feature and a tow feature. Right here, you can't see it, but right down here in the center console. And that's about it. Quick, just a quick video on the driving dynamics. Uh, again, solid out on the highway. Uh, there's no wander, holds a straight line. It's good power, very quiet. Other than the, the uh, storm that I'm running into and the rain, very quiet cabin. Uh, one of the things, and I will do a full review of this vehicle, hopefully. But one of the things that's interesting is the sunroof that you can't see is very small. When you look at other manufacturers and you have these panoramic sunroofs that go all the way to the back, I would like that option. And again, I haven't done my research, so maybe there is an option. But in this vehicle, it's very small. It just goes back to here. But, uh, you know, other than that, guys. Oh, and there is a wow feature. There is the ability to look at a camera, your rear view, if you could find it. Again, the infotainment controls are very difficult. But when you're sitting and you can find it, you have the ability, when you're stopped, to take a look at what's around you. There's a an aerial or a satellite view, let's say a GPS a view of your vehicle. And then there's this ultra wide screen view of your vehicle and the vehicles around you, which is nice. Like if you're stopped and you want to look at who's around you or what's around you, 
And it might be helpful if you are in a little bit of an off-road situation or you're in some mud or, you know, varied terrain. Mr. M. Jones, thank you, bro. Thank you for that donation to my channel. Uh, if you're in some varied uh, pavement or, I'm sorry, varied uh I'm losing, I'm having a senior moment. But if you're in some varied uh, terrain, let's say, and you're trying to avoid gravel or mud spots, you have the ability to look at the camera and see what's around you, which is pretty cool. But all told, I think this is a nice vehicle. Again, I'm, I'm pleased with the driving dynamics, but it's a little bit for more of the mature audience, in my opinion. But I'll come back later on today with uh, one or two more of these short live. Well, actually, I'm probably running out of light soon. So maybe tomorrow morning I'll come out with a little bit more um, of a polished version. And I'll get some shots of the interior and do a little bit of research if I have some time. But I want to thank you guys for joining this live stream. And it's the wind is starting to pick up. Safely. But I'll talk to you guys. Sunday shave tomorrow. For you shaving folks. And uh, as, as always, guys, thank you. And keep pushing play. Keep pushing.